Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Sunday live stream. Thanks for showing up on Sunday. That's uh, kind of uncommon, but uh, hey, I will take it. So uh, there's a lot of things to go over, and I want to keep this as condensed as possible because it's the weekend. I want you to get back to your families and all that stuff and watching football, all that great thing. So let's just jump in. So today I'm going to talk about all the different cryptos that I own. And the reason why I'm going to talk about that is because I keep getting the same questions over and over again. And I guess, and of course, the question is just why. And before we get into that, we're going to have like two or three minutes. Just want to remind everybody that today the markets are great. And the markets are great because of over time. And of course, this doesn't mean that everything's going to last forever and we're going to go straight up. But right now it's a green day and everybody's happy and that's fantastic. Our market cap's like 1.56 trillion or something like that. And most of the things are in the green. So that is great. And the thing is, is when we're talking about the actual market and why this is actually happening, you have to remember that, of course, you guys know how hard it was, but it really does fall on your shoulders. And there was a great quote, a great quote by F.D. White. And I linked his uh, Twitter account in the comments section. And he says, it's crazy because while we're in the markets are cheering and making money, the average American is stressed. I, don't, I, I, I want people to remember that. I mean, we celebrate and we celebrate our victories. The average American, I think the average person out there is stressed because they're not making enough money. There's massive amounts of inflation. Every type of asset is going up because of that inflation. And I, I, I think it really does wear on people. And of course, it's only the ones that actually go out there and make it tough on themselves and actually invest and take the massive risk like you guys did into where you're actually to enjoy this day. And he says, I, I hate that it's like this, but I've been preaching uh, financial literacy for years now. And that's the thing. It's the same thing with, with making investments and actually making strides and actually you know, doing well. We can talk about it. We can preach about it. We can tell everybody. But in the end, it really comes down to us. And there's very few people that are going to make it because they don't want to take that gamble on that risk. And I get it because it's just in our nature to be safe, fight or flight. And I, I got to tell you, I think that there is bigger risks if you don't invest and just stick to the safety because we see what actually happens now. So on top of that, everybody's going to tell you, and we all know this, right? Investments, we think it's just going to go straight up. That's how people see us, and they're going to see us. That's what they're going to see us in 2024 and 2025. Oh, they're just lucky, and they got it. But they don't know it was like this. There's all these different pitfalls. There's all these different problems, and there's always different FUD, and there's always different bears and everything else, and you've held and done all these things. So today is one of those great days. And remember, it's all on you for what you did, and this was actually from Tony. And he, he wanted to thank us for the two years in crypto. He finally turned our profit yesterday. Level-headed and common sense approach. Help me keep a healthy outlook. And there's another guy that said that uh, he only makes like uh, 18 or $20 an hour, which is pretty good. I mean, honestly. But he said, you know, he got crushed in 2021 because he didn't uh, sell everything. But he's back in the green. And I got to tell you, it's not me that's doing all this stuff. It's actually you guys. And that is the big story. And, of course, all these things that are happening, all the... The two years of bearishness, I mean, it comes out of this. Bears will lead for only so much. And then at some point, the bears get crushed. And the bulls take it back. And then we, we have a little run. And the bears and we'll go back and forth and back and forth. And I said, hey, this is shorts are getting hammered. I thought it was funny. Uh, bears are in disbelief. And we can see that over the last 24 hours. Yeah, 109 million uh, for shorts who are getting uh, wrecked. And the longs are uh, over half. Uh, less than half of that, 41.76 million. So these are the good days. So enjoy these days. And uh, this is the great thing. So what I'm going to show you is all the different cryptos that I've invested into, which you have to remember that I've been in crypto and digital assets since 2017. So all these things, you'd be like, what? You still have that? Yes. And it's not because, you know, like I'm holding on to it because I believe in all of these projects, these 70 plus projects. I'm holding on to them because I didn't get rid of them fast enough. And I want this to be a lesson for everybody as we move into the next cycle. So um, let's bring it up. So here's what we got. So these are all the different holdings that I have personally. And I'm not going to show everybody the exact holdings because I don't want to get wrench attack for Pete's sakes. But just imagine in your head, Rob probably has between one and 10 million of these different tokens. So it doesn't really matter. It's just at some point, uh, these are what I've, uh, I believed in, and this is what I have. And here we go. So uh, Tencent, 
And that I think is going to do pretty well because uh, it's a launch pad and they've got four or five uh, really good projects lined up. So I'll be talking about that more on that on the second channel, Dan Degen. Ave, Algorand, AMP. And everybody talks about, you know, AMP. I, there is very few communities that don't get pissed off enough if you don't mention AMP. It's like it's you've got to have it. Well, I own it. We'll see how it actually works out in this bull run. Apecoin, Arbitrum, Avalanche, basic attention token, big time. And uh, I picked up big time. This is one of the recommendations from uh, the Web3 gangs, uh, the Johnny Hustles from Banter, the Kagi, the Jesus Martinez and, uh, and Crypto Stash. I didn't play the game, but they, they, they tell me that if I would have played the game, I would have <laughs> actually picked up a lot more than just buying it. So that's a lesson for everybody who's getting the Web3. Uh, maybe you should just start playing the games. BNB token, Bonk. The reason why I like Bonk is because the market cap is low. It is another meme coin. Yes, it's another dog coin. And guess what? Uh, I got to tell you, some of, these, some of these meme coins, like Doge, did pretty darn well. And Bonk is on Solana. And Solana is one of my, one of my not biggest holdings, but one of my on the upper echelon of holdings. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, BUSD, which I really should get rid of because they're going to get rid of that. Cardano, and I love Cardano, and I have we have a stake pool, and I think it's going to do quite well. It's got a nice ecosystem, and we'll see as everything comes about. Uh, I got this one called Chain Guardians Governance Token. No idea why I have this, but uh, I have this token, and uh, it's in one of my wallets. And it was actually kind of fun to go through this because I realized just how many different tokens. I'm like, I really have that? And yeah, they're just sitting around these different random wallets that I have. Chainlink, Cosmos, Crown. Crown was a really good one. Uh, this is a recommendation from a friend of mine here in Puerto Rico, Stephen. And uh, if you're into gambling, which you can't really talk about gambling on YouTube, or else they'll take they'll demonetize and take your video down for whatever reason. But uh, Crown is one of those horse racing type of uh, degenerate <laughs> gambling tokens, and it's done pretty well. Dai, Doge, Ethereum, Echelon Prime. This is another one that uh, is one of those gaming tokens that I got into because I thought when I inter interviewed the, uh, um, the Web3 Consortium guys, they're the, they're the ones that said, hey, you know what? This is probably going to do pretty well. I took a look at it. It looks pretty good. EOS. Th this was from my 2017. I, have, I sold a bit of this, but I should have sold way more. And I didn't. And I still hold on to it. I think me and Beardy are the only ones keeping this, this project alive. Fame. Fame MMA token was going to be a great one. And it's if you don't know what that is, it is like the UFC in uh, parts of Europe, mostly in Poland and different, different areas around there. And what they do is they hire influencers to fight against each other. And it's like this big thing in, uh, in, in parts of Europe. And I know like uh, there's another, I think George has his own fighting thing that's uh, coming up. And I think it's uh, Crypto Crow is going to fight some people and blah, blah, blah. But uh, Fame was the first one to do this. And it uh, worked out pretty well, unfortunately. I don't think they knew what the hell they were doing with the tokens because it should have been, it did really well, uh, but then it dropped off because they didn't promote it and they screwed up. Flare, I think was uh, from XRP because yeah, I own XRP. Flip It was one of those tokens that I wanted to show everybody uh, about meme coins and how it dumps. And I got a little bit, we did a video on Dan Degen and I told everybody, I'm going to dump on you. And uh, I did get rid of it, but I, I, I kept a little bit for a sentimental sake, but I should have <laughs> should have just got rid of it. Uh, Gala token, and I've been I thought Gala would do pretty well, especially after it, it uh, switched over to mobile gaming. Gensukishi, and if you don't, uh, this is one of my not a big hold, but it's it's a game that uh, I knew would do pretty well. It's been around for seven or eight years. It was already on PlayStation, it was already on Android and Apple and Wii, and uh, yeah, and Nintendo. And of course, I switch over to to uh, Web three. It's very big in Southeast Asia. And uh, I think it'll do pretty well still. And it's a pretty good hold. Uh, Ghost Token, which uh, that is for Avagachi. And we've done a couple of videos on them. I still think it's going to do a pretty well game. I'm not a big player of that type of style, but I think it'll do well. Alluvium. And Alluvium, we've had uh, both of the co-founders on. I think that one's going to be, that's going to run pretty well. They've already transferred over to Epic Games uh, and actually are able to, they're selling uh, the access to the game itself. That is the Illuvium token. They have three or four different uh, games within the Illuvium ecosystem. It's going to do pretty well. Immutable X, what can we say? And that one's up over 150% in like 30 days or 90 days or something like that. It's doing well. 
uh, Injective, IOTA, ICP. Yes, I own ICP. People were hounding me on this one. I was like, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll get into it. We'll see what actually happens. CASPA. Now, CASPA is one of those tokens. I'm glad that I listened to the craziness that is people out there and saying, you know what? This one's going to be pretty well. And I'll be damned if they weren't, <laughs> they weren't correct. CASPA, I'm not going to say it's going to flip Bitcoin, but I'm just telling you, like, if you look at the price appreciation over the last 90 days, and of course, it is proof of work and it is a ghost DAG, not just a DAG, ghost DAG. Uh, you can see that it has legs and it could actually do pretty well. Is this going to be the end all be all? Pfft, nobody knows, but uh, we'll see how it all works out. I think it's going to be pretty well. La Vita, no idea what this is. And the reason I don't know what this is, is because it's in my Theta wallet. Theta was one of my, and this is the, this is the crazy things about holding onto tokens, is that I have a Theta wallet. I staked my Theta like two years ago. And then I just looked at it a couple of days ago and I'm like, man, I got a lot of T-Fuel and T-Drop. And now I got Levita. I'll be damned. Levita is an AI play. You can look it up. It looks pretty promising, but I think it's, it's a very, very low cap. I think it's in the 500s or maybe 600s. But uh, they are, you know, uh, they're on the Theta chain and it was just airdrop to me. And it's right there in my, uh, on my uh, uh, Theta wallet. And I was like, great, free. I can't, you can't beat free. That's just how it is. I will warn everybody about going into their wallets and clicking everything that they see. Because if it's NFTs, there's a lot of different scams and hucksters out there. And if you see an NFT you don't know about, do not click it because it's probably going to compromise you in some way, shape, or form. I have heard so many stories about this. But uh, with Theta, it looks to be uh, okay. And if you really want to check it, which I did, you can check the contract address. I will do a video on that so you can verify that that Levita is the contract address or not. Uh, Mana, which is uh, the, uh, in the, the currency for Sandbox, which is a Web3 uh, multiverse or uh, meta multiverse. What am I on? Am I dealing with Marvel? Uh, Mana, yeah. Meld is uh, one of those uh, DeFi banks. Things don't do pretty well. They've had some setbacks, but it looks like they're uh, going in the right direction. We'll see how it works out. Very risky play. And I am also a node operator. Nakamoto Games. This is also, uh, I have to give homage to Steven. This guy has been, uh, he gives me like all the, uh, all the crazy stuff out there before it happens. And uh, he said, you got to check this out. I, I bought a bunch of tokens and I checked the games. and I'm like, these games suck. And they do suck. Uh, they're a little bit better now, but the ones that I played like two or three months ago, I'm like, these are awful. But I just teched it. I'm like, eh, whatever. And it uh, looks like they're doing a little bit better in the games department. I think Alluvium still outshines them, but that's just me. Uh, Near, you know why I believe in Near? Uh, I think it's, uh, it's, a, it's a great project. Layer one, it's, uh, it's beating everybody in uh, unique active wallets right now. But as far as transactions, uh, Solana still beats it on a daily basis. I think I think Solana has like over 20 million transactions per day. Near just tipped out at 13.1 million transactions. No hiccups, no problems. And that was all because of uh, transcriptions or ordinals, which were started on Near, which you can see the same thing on Polygon. When they got ordinals, the same thing. Everything skyrocketed. And the same thing happened uh, with uh, Bitcoin, with their ordinals. Optimism, I thought they were going to do the, uh, they're a layer two solution on Ethereum. And of course, they're the ones that uh, uh, have incorporated base, uh, which would be from Coinbase. And uh, this might be a sleeper, but I think it's going to do pretty well. For some reason, I have it twice. I don't know why. Uh, playable. And playable is, a, is a, one of those gaming tokens. I didn't buy the token. I bought the node first. So right now I have over, I don't know how many thousands of tokens, but from the uh, node itself, that's what I have. And uh, I want to give out a shout to Jesus Martinez from Classy Games, or what used to be called Classy Games. He's the one that talked about this one and Miria, I think it was called. And I think that one's going to do pretty well. Uh, polka dot, Polygon, you know why. Hythe or Pith. Hold on. Anytime you want to go. Okay, fine. Yeah, dog doesn't want to go out. Uh, Pyth, uh, again, I'm a big believer in oracles and I think, uh, Chainlink has done a great job. Uh, they haven't really had much competition. Pyth has come along and I'll see, we'll say it's Pyth. I don't really care. I like to say Pyth and, uh, it's built on Solana and it looks to be doing pretty well. We'll see if it can dethrone the King, which is Chainlink. Render AI play. Rond is from Gensokishi. Again, it's one of those things where I'm like, how the hell did I get this? Oh yeah. I stake Gensokishi and I got a bunch of Rond tokens. So, all right. 
sand of the sandbox scale is an interesting uh web3 gaming project it has it's a it's a gasless chain and it looks to really ramp up the web3 games and if you're a, a new developer and you're looking for something to build on scale might be your solution gasless chains and things like that but you know the token is uh again a low capper very risky send token Shopping IO, man, shopping IO. You want to know how I got shopping IO? I'll tell you how I got shopping IO. So shopping IO was like this big project back in 2020, 2021. And they were going to be like the next, the next Amazon type of type of play, where not really Amazon, but you would you would purchase the token. You would get discounts on all their different uh, partnerships that they had with, with online commerce. And you could use this token and get massive discounts. And it made sense. And it was going to be pretty well. And the, the, big, the big thing was that their, uh, their circulating supply and total supply was like under 10 million or something like that. It was very low. And I was like, oh, I got to get into that. And uh, I did. And now it's worth uh, pretty much nothing. <laughs> so didn't work out, but I didn't get rid of it. So uh, here we are. And then uh, Solana, I don't think I need to really say anything about that one. That's number 54. Let's keep going. Stacks. Stacks, I had bought months, months and months, six, seven months ago, because I thought to myself, okay, Bitcoin is not a security, right? Even Gary Gensler said it's not a security. And if we're going to go into the crypto wars and to see what's a security, what's a commodity, what's a currency? Well, Bitcoin's in the clear. So stacks was a pretty good play for me, I thought, because I'm like, well, uh, the one problem with, with Bitcoin is that it has a transaction problem and it has a smart contract problem. And stacks solves that. And stacks, if you don't remember, that was uh, the mayor of Miami. He's the one that incorporated Bitcoin and stacks to use that for their Miami coin. I think that was actually done in Denver as well. So I'm like, well, it's, you know, it's got uh, some notoriety, probably do pretty well. And so far, I mean, it's up big time. So Stack so far has been pretty good. We'll see if it actually keeps building and I go from there. Stellar, I don't know why I have Stellar, but I do. StormX, uh, StormX, I, I really liked it. It was kind of like shopping IO, but they had more partnerships in my personal opinion. And uh, I still own that as well. Sui. SWE is one of those uh, layer two solutions. Is, is it layer two or layer one? I always forget this one. But uh, no, I think it's layer one. But SWE is, uh, it's, has a lot of you know, transactions per second do pretty well. But uh, you know, again, it's just one of those things where I diversify play. Sweat token, I'm not going to talk year off. You know why I like that one. T-drop, again, I had no idea I even owned this. But apparently it was in my Theta wallet. So I was like, hey, that's cool. I'll take that. Uh, Tether, I just have this kind of laying around in case I want to buy some degenerate other plays. Uh, Tezos, again, no idea why I have it, but I bought it at some point, still hanging around. Key Fuel, again, we say why. Theta, Tron. The reason why I have Tron is because when you have Tether and you want to send it off uh, pretty cheaply, I thought Tron was a really cheap rail. Guess what? It ain't. It's expen It's not expensive, but it's ridiculously how high priced you want it. You can you can sound off in the comment section, but have you, you have you used USDC on Solana? It is fast, and there is nothing. Uh, there the, the the fees are basically nothing. Tron. I don't know why it's even around. I think I know why it's around. It's because a lot of people in Asia use Tron or use Tether on the Tron rails because it's available to them. I think when everything moves out and we have a uh, worldwide availability for a lot more chains, I don't think Tron's gonna do that well. But that's just me talking. And of course, I will probably eat my words at some point. So if you're a big believer in Tron, sorry, uh, maybe it'll do well. You know what? I'm just gonna say it like this. In the bull run, everything's gonna do great. Let's just be honest. Uh, UFO Gaming, no idea why I have this. Uniswap, uh, this one, I always, the narrative for me is, and the upcoming bull run is going to be uh, AI, gaming, and I think DEXs, especially with what's going on in the United States. So with Uniswap, I think that's one of the bigger ones. I probably should pick up some Orca and other stuff like that, but I haven't. USDC, Vulcan Forge, Wrap ETH, World of Mobile, and XRP. And that, my friends, is the 70, actually it's 71 that I actually have. So in conclusion, if I didn't mention your 
specific project. It doesn't mean that it sucks. It doesn't mean anything. It just means that I don't own it. And it has nothing to do with whether it's good or it's bad or anything else. Listen, I'm telling you right now, I'm pretty sure most of the projects out there are going to do awesome, especially in the next bull run with whatever narrative is out there. There's going to be so many people coming in, it won't really matter. The reason why I haven't really picked up anything else new is because I have 71 cryptos. That is plenty for me to manage. And I know people will say, but Rob, you got to get into this, you got to do that. I appreciate everybody's uh, concerns for my financial well-being. Being, I, I appreciate you. I do. But uh, there's only so much I can put into. There's only so much I can dollar cost average. I've gone pretty heavy uh, over the last two years. So I'm just trying to temper expectations. And that's all we got. So that's it for today. Shoot. Only 20 minutes. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Everything we talk about is time sensitive. But that's it for today. Now.